Real quick before we get into our reading, I do want to introduce you guys to my tarot deck called Earthseed Tarot that I am currently creating right now. I have just launched a Kickstarter to help fund this tarot project. So if you want to help support me as a person, as an artist, or if you guys just actually want this tarot deck for your own tarot collection hit the link down below i am raising money to fund this project the money that is raised is going to go towards paying the models and getting this first project in motion you guys this is my baby i have put my heart and soul into this project and i would just really appreciate it if you guys could just support even with a share so hit the link if you guys want to do so lovelies welcome back to yet another pick a card reading here on the channel if you're new hi my name is 80 and I will be your tarot reader today and tomorrow and the next day and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that because this spooky season we are doing tarot a day just my little treat to you guys because I appreciate you I love you I am grateful for the family the community that I am blessed to be in here on YouTube I love you guys but yes every day for the next 30 days a video will be dropped here a pick a card a lengthy juicy pick a card will be dropped here on the channel at 7 p.m. so join in every night okay It'll be premiering, the community will be open, we can talk and chat and all that. Okay, it's, it's going to be juicy. Some of your guys' favorites will be um, posted this month as well as some of the most requested videos will be posted. So I'm excited. Right now while I'm filming this, I'm like halfway through the 30 videos that I'm recording and they've been really fun and juicy and lengthy, okay? Um, but yes, before we get into this, I do want to mention just a few things. My bookings are open for the month of October. I took a really long break most of this year, and now they're open. They fill up pretty quickly, so if you ever wanted to have a tarot reading with me, a one-on-one, -on -one, to discuss some of your issues, your concerns, your curiosities, find out certain things that'll happen for you in the future or with a certain someone, now is the time to book with me. You can only book with me through my shop, goodritualshop.com linked down below once you go there you can click on healers I think it's healer services and then you can go to tarot services and then my tarot page will be up will pop up and you can book with me through that page um, and once you book you will receive an email from me we can continue on discussing your personal issues concerns curiosities timelines, all of that nice juicy stuff. Um, but yes, they fill up quickly. So if you ever wanted to just book with me now, there's only a limited spaces. I'm only opening up just a limited spaces this October and November. Um, but yeah, also, um, I have started a Kickstarter for Earthseed Tarot, the tarot deck that I am creating. So that will be linked down below as well. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Um, also, Good Ritual. Check out the shop, goodritualshop.com. I have Zodiac kits, ritual kits. It's my shop where I sell my magic candles as well as my bath rituals, my intention oils, incense, um, herbal, herbal packs. I sell herbs over there. Um, crystals, spell boards. I have a lot of magic goodness over there. So go check out the shop. 
All of the Zodiac boxes are out. These are monthly boxes that are on sale that help you work with the energies of the season um, or the energies of you, your birth chart. So check out the Zodiac boxes in shop. Um, and that's pretty much it that I wanted to mention. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to be friends like spicy content because I do promote a lot of my spicy content there on Instagram um, but I share all types of stuff on there as well um, and follow the only fans if you have um, if you like spicy, spicy content <sighs> I filmed this intro so many times already um, but yeah you guys that's pretty much it I don't want to talk too much I know some of you guys are like you know, this summer, I knew I was going to miss you guys, and I was going through changes, and I was talking a lot about myself, but let me remind you, this is my channel, and if I want to talk, I'm going to talk, and if I want to eat, a girl's going to eat, I do that too, all right, but let's, let's remember that these videos are yeah. free, let's get into these readings, I love you guys, <laughs> All right, my loves, let's dive into these readings. Let's find out who has feelings for you and their next actions towards you. Okay, so this video is going to reveal who has the feels for you and um, their next um, moves towards you. All right, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I think we need this one. Like, we need to know. We need to know. We need to get into this. Um, we're going to do a card selection. These are a couple cards from my tarot deck called Earthseed Tarot. And um, you guys, I started a Kickstarter for this project of mine. Okay, I put my heart and my soul, so much energy, okay, has went into this project. And I would just appreciate it if you guys could support, even if it's just with a share, sharing it to a friend that also loves tarot, loves collecting tarot, you think they would love this tarot deck in their own collection um, all of the money that i am raising in the kickstarter down below link down below will go towards paying the models as well as um, getting this first print in motion all right so click the link down below if you want to support me and my dreams support me as a person support me as an artist okay link is down below but let's get into these readings there are three readings today to choose from to find out who has feelings for you okay reading number one we have mother earth this is the the queen of pentacles reading number two we have priest the priest okay this is the hierophant card and reading number three we have mother of air this is the queen of swords all right, so go ahead and pause the video um, so you can zone in on the card that is resonating with you, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, reading number one. Let's find out who has feelings for you and their next actions, okay? So you guys have picked Queen of Pentacles here, Mother Earth, all right? So... Um, I feel this is more leading towards their actions, okay? Their actions here are to kind of nurture you in a very physical way. They want to nurture you in a physical way. Okay, this person really um, likes to take people out on dates, like expensive dates, but I feel like they really put thought into their dates. They really put thought. It's not just like, oh, let me take them to like the, the most expensive restaurant. They like dropping money um, in ways that they know that it's going to be nurturing to their partner. So they're very attentive to their partner's needs and wants and desires, like physical desires. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is like thinking about you heavily right now. So let's tap in and see who this person is. And then we'll tap into their actions. Who is this person that has feelings for number one? Look what comes out. 
See, this person is balanced in their feminine energy and their masculine energy. This is the king of pentacles. This person is a provider. They have a really good job, I'm hearing. They make a lot of money. They also love, there's a feminine quality with the roses around this king of pentacles. I feel like they are the type to like bring roses to their person like every time they see them. You know, they're very romantic, I'm getting, with these strawberries that are up top and these roses. They have a very romantic feel. They like to be very romantic in a very physical way, okay? So he's, uh, or she, is very romantic. Um, they're a very, very down-to-earth person. Very calm, I would say. They're very calm, very down-to-earth. There's a naturalness to this person. Um, I feel like their hair is long. They do not wear their hair short. Okay, they it doesn't have to be like super long, but they do like growing out the hair to some extent. It's, um, it's not short, okay? Um, this is a person that sacrifices themselves as well for others. These, his hands are like, have holes in them, like he's been crucified. Um, he sacrifices himself or others that's what I'm really getting you know so they, this is a person that ha does put the needs of others before them maybe not in a very unhealthy way but this person is a provider they are a person that likes to take care of someone and so you know they also the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles definitely takes care of themselves in order to be able to be like you know what it's fine I'm okay I don't have I don't need this right now this person needs me in this way or I really want to um, take care of this person in this way so I'm gonna like you know sacrifice some of the things that I desire and want just this time or for this small amount of time so that I can give to this person this person is very generous and giving all right but let's get into some more I want like give me some details okay again they are this could be somebody that you work with or that you will work with um, this person works well with others they are a hard worker with the eight of Pentacles here okay they do they might work with your friend um, or you they work with people that you know um, or they work with you they are very talented and skillful okay I do feel like if this is not about work it's about a friend group this is somebody within your friend group or something somebody that your friend knows um, with the four of cups this person um, I feel like this person um, that has feelings for you is a person that really um, is scared of rejection though and I feel like this is why they tend to go above for other people they kind of um, I want to say that like I don't feel like they lack any anything but they might feel like they have to use money um, material things to woo people that's what I'm feeling here they have a big fear of rejection maybe they just have a big fear of rejection from you is what i'm getting so this person could be i what i want to say is that this person is kind of shy around you this person could be quite shy around you this person is pretty fun though i feel like when you're around this person this person is exciting there's a childlike energy about them when they're around other people i'm getting a big emphasis on when they are around you they are kind of like introverted they're kind of just like observing you and learning about you from just watching you but like when you watch them across the room or when they're with other people or like you know you might view them in a, like a different way they're like really exciting and fun and interesting and you're just like why are they not like this around me why are they like tense up around me yeah like they kind of tense up you know I feel like this person kind of tenses up when they're around you they get kind of closed off around you this person is heavily thinking about you though with the four of cups 
and that queen of pentacles i just felt like you're really heavily on this person's mind they're probably going to reach out i'm really tapping into their actions yeah this person has like really strong boundaries when it comes to you so they really it like they have these kind of like feelings of wanting to invest in you wanting to definitely like work up the courage to ask you out but they have a fear of rejection um i think they when they when they think of you they view themselves through this like distorted lens that keeps these boundaries up between you and this person so let's go ahead hopefully that gives you enough i feel like this person is very attractive and they have good style i feel like they're very energetic but maybe like they kind of change and tense up when they're around you and they become quiet but i think one thing that um you will know about your person is like the way that they look at you they're like watching you you will catch this person watching you okay You'll catch them watching you and you're just like, whoa, this person is like really staring at me. And they might even smile and kind of like shy away after that. We have the five of, what is this? This is the five of swords. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at their actions. These are telling me their actions here. What their next actions are going to be with you. We have the three of swords. Oh, God. Okay person has some serious and then we have the king of swords i don't feel like this person is going to be making any actions towards you right now at least you know we have the five of swords i think they're um at odds with how they feel you know like about who you are i think you intimidate them honestly i also feel like this person might have just got out of a relationship and um, they have to go through some things before actually, like, getting back into the dating game. I'm going to say that. Um, but they really like you. They're really, like, feeling for you, you know. Um, this might even be a friend, you know, um, an old friend that c has came back into your life or, like, you're just recently starting to hang out with more um, or someone at work, someone that's like around you a lot, but they might tense up. They're kind of shy, but when you see them with other people, they're just like talking and having fun. And you're just like, wow, this person's kind of cool. Like from a distance, like you watch them, you know? But I feel like this person might be in drama right now. They've been hurt. They're kind of scared about what's going to happen. You know, they're just, they're kind of scared and they feel alone. And I feel like with this king of swords here, I feel like this is even pointing more to like them not taking action. I feel like they're very sure of how they feel about you, but there's other things, other factors that are going on in their life. And maybe that's why they're tensing up when they're around you because they kind of gotten hurt or they've just broken up with someone. There's a lot of drama surrounding them in their life. And, um, they're kind of untrusting. It's like, oh, this person, I like them. Everyone I like, like, rejects me. Like, it's like that kind of energy. So they're just like, I can't go. Like, they're taking off their shoes. They're not going to be walking towards you. You know, I feel like there's a lot of, like, intuition that they're getting to, like, put on your shoes and, like, let's go. Let's go towards this person. You like them. Like, not everyone is the same. This person won't hurt you. Like, you know, but they're just struggling with that mentally. Okay, so... Do we, any more last messages, Spirit, about this person? Any more last messages about this person? Yeah, this person is in protection mode. They are not trying to, like, really get close to someone. I feel like they're playing with the idea when it comes to you. I think you really turn them on in a very exciting way. Um, you make, you know... I don't know how to explain this. Like, you kind of excite them, you know? You are inspiring that energy again to them. But I feel like right now they're more in of, like, I'm going to watch this person and see if I should really go in this direction. Like, I want to see how transparent they are. I want to see if I can really get to know who this person is just by being their friend. Just by, you know, um, 
just by being their friend and, you know, connecting with them. But I think because they like you so much and they're feeling for you so much, they're kind of tensing up and it's not really allowing them to like get to know you as deep as they could. But they're just trying to like get to know you as just like observing you. We have this ice cream cone. So I feel like eventually this person might ask you out when things calm down from this other situation that I was picking up. They might ask you out to go on like, uh, you know, oh, do you want to hang out with us? Like with a bunch of people I'm feeling like they might say, hey, you want to go hang out with us after work or something like that um, with a group of people. And it's like it's the first step in like them taking steps towards you. But it won't be for a while, I feel like because of this energy they've been dealing with um, in their previous connections. OK, Um we have this. So I feel like this person is just kind of like trying to protect themselves. I, this kitty just makes me feel like they're happy. They're happy about you, but they're also just like going through something, some heavy weather. All right. Number one. So that is your reading. That's who is feeling for you and their next actions. Let me know if you know who this person is. Is it kind of frustrating because you like them too? There's this chemistry, but you can tell that this person's a little bit standoffish, a little bit like not trusting the situation between you guys. Let me know down below and I'll see you the next reading. Peace. All righty. Reading number two. Welcome to your reading. Let's get into it. Um, you guys are the ones that have, that have picked this priest. We're going to find out who has feelings for you and their next actions, their moves towards you. So this is a very serious person, okay, with the priest. They are very serious. This is someone that has already showed some type of commitment towards you, okay, in some type of way. They're persistent. They are very, I want to say strategic and structured with how they're communicating and interacting with you. Okay, they're showing a huge, uh, this person has had like, the light bulbs have went off about you. So let's, let's dive in. Let's see what else comes out. Who is this person that has feelings for reading number two? This person has taken some time, okay? This person has really taken their time with the Seven of Pentacles. Almost like they felt, they feel kind of like a fool that they waited this long, you know? I want to say that. Four of Swords. Okay, let me just get a few cards out, okay? So we can start talking Knight of Pentacles. Again, this person has taken a long time to come to this conclusion about you. It has come to, you know, it has taken a long time to make action. They have taken action, though. But I feel like with this Seven of Pentacles, this is someone that you could have been waiting on or felt like they were never going to come around. Um, this is a person that could have hide their feelings from you okay this person kind of feels like a fool they you know i feel like you're just like i don't know why but there's just like this sensual sexy energy about you you see this cat it's making me think of like the aristocats the like the white kitty who's like very beautiful this person really feels like you're beautiful and maybe that's why they you know i'm they have a fear of your beauty they have a fear of your beauty and maybe it's because they feel kind of like, I don't know, like you're just like not a match for them, right? And now I'm seeing my cat Ari when he caught that bird and was just like eating the bird in our front lawn and he had blood on his, it was just like, Ari, you are a beast, you know? So I feel like you're very beautiful, but I feel like this person feels like, you know, you can eat them you know, and they have the ability to fly away, but somehow you just like are able to catch them, you know? And, but they're kind of like done with feeling like a fool. This could have been somebody that, um, was silent around you. Um, or they cut off communication. They weren't talking to you at some type of point. I feel like right now, or, they're about to step into the picture again, but I feel like most of you, this person is already back in the picture and showing some type of commitment towards you. Um, but I feel like, cause I feel like I said back into the picture. So I feel like this person, I don't know, like there could have been energy of like, Oh, is this going to happen between us? Like, is something going to happen? Like, I wonder if this person is going to like make their move, like, or are we going to make it official? And then it just like, I don't know, it went silent with this four of swords. But now I feel like this person has like a drive and again, Knight of Pentacles is slow as hell. So I feel like 
this is a person that has taken their sweet time. Here's these birds again. Like, I feel like this person was taking their sweet ass time with you, you know, and it's like, um, why am I here? I'm seeing the chess horse. Is that a horse? It looks like a chess piece to me that's on his shirt there. And so I feel like this person was trying to play checkers with you for some reason. I don't know. That's what I'm picking up. <laughs> I'm feeling like they were trying to play checkers or something. Like get over on you or make you do something. And you kind of like, maybe that's how it went silent and they started looking like a fool. Because they really want you, but... Um, you're like, fool, I'm playing chess, like, you know, and now they're ready to play. They're ready to do this with you. Like, they see it kind of like a game. So I feel like there's this game kind of energy between you and this person, but they're slow as hell. They take their time, but they also are in this energy of like still moving slow, but it's like, it's with purpose, you know, like you can trust the Knight of Pentacles. He's slow. He finally arrives, you know, but it's like, they're going to like play out what they said they're gonna do okay so we have the ace of wands you are extremely i'm hearing you are extremely attracted to this person they are extremely attracted to you too um but you are you will find or you do find this person really attractive okay we also have like the bride of frankenstein um, right here. So again, there's that imagery of like being a freak, being ugly, and you're just like this normal, beautiful person that everybody likes, you know, like that's kind of how they view themselves. I think, I think they view you, view themselves as like someone that needed to be put back together. So this person could have had a lot of issues and they're just trying to fix themselves with this 10 of pentacles. I feel like, again, this person is, has invested in you right now. They are investing in you. They are showing up and with invest, like showing that they want you. They have deep feelings for you. Okay. They could be a family friend. They could be, um, you know, uh, they could be family of some sort. I want to say, um, like this could be a, uh, like a, a baby daddy. This could be a baby daddy, a baby mama. Like they're considered family of some sort. Um, I feel like this person really is family oriented. They, um, prioritize family. They also want a big family. They might have already spoken to you about having children or something like that. Okay. With the Knight of Swords, this person had they're hot headed, they're quick to like say things and to speak their mind. They're not scared, they're kind of a rebel too. Like, you know, you could easily get into arguments with this person, petty arguments, nothing huge, but you guys have the tendency to fight. Okay, so <laughs> so yes i hope that tells you what who this person is let's see about their actions let's see what's happening what's gonna happen between you and this person what are their moves towards you what are their moves tell me we have the five of cups okay let me get out some more just to see exactly what's going on this person is like in their thoughts we have the nine of pentacles Mm -hmm. okay okay and we have the ace of cups here i want to get one more since we're kind of like only seven minutes in we have the seven as i say seven seven of clubs seven of wands and one more ace of clubs again okay ace of wands ace of wands my day all right, so with this five of, this person is not trying to repeat the past. They are not trying to uh, move in the present in the lens of the past. Think about the future with the lens of the past. This person is like deep in thought about the future and they're turning their backs on their failures. They're turning their backs on like what has failed, you know, in their life between you and them. They're more focused on like, accumulating like positive energy with you this is the nine of pentacles they feel like like i feel like they're 
their actions is to grow something with you, to grow a life with you, okay? And to them, that is a blessing. It's an ace of cups here. This is an emotional fulfillment. So this person might, tr their next action is that they might want to like ha make this a serious thing. They might propose to you, especially with this a two of these aces here. They do feel like they want to fight for you. They want to fight for this connection with the, you know, it terrifies them. I think if they're terrified because they waited too long, you know, they, they now there's competition involved or they're scared that there could be competition involved. Um, and they feel like with this, this is their nine of pentacles, you know, like, and they, uh, feel like a fool for messing up, you know, but I really feel like they, they see the big picture now and they're ready for this new beginning with you. They want to have a new love, passionate, emotionally passionate, new beginning with you. Okay. They want to just get all caught up with you. Okay. So let's. Their next actions is to make things official, to cut out the competition, say, hey, let's do this. Let's get married. Let's move in together. Um, let's make it official. I don't want you seeing nobody. Um, let's be a family. Let's make a baby. It's that kind of energy. That's their next actions is to collaborate with you and, you know, to, and with that, it's like they're coming out on top. They want to be the winner. Okay, when it comes to you. So let's look at the charms and see what are some other energies that are coming. Okay, I think there is something that they saw that makes them feel like, uh-uh, nope, that not today. That ain't gonna happen. That's what I'm feeling. That's the kind of energy like, nope. This person could be tempted and they're just more about being better. You know, like they maybe in the past they were tempted by things and now... They ain't, tr they ain't messing with that type of energy. They're not putting themselves in those situations. They're not entertaining um, those situations. Um, but I also feel like they see this as like the competition and they see other people maybe trying to get to you. They see you talking to other people and they're just like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm just seeing someone like, no, 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 no. This ain't gonna happen. I'm, I'm seeing that. So I feel like this person's like, no, 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 not today, Satan. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, Satan. You're trying to, these people are trying to take my baby away. And they're just, they're not going to have it. Okay. So they're, you know, their next action is to, you know, spark it up, spark the passion, the love, um, start the fire. And I'm hearing Gwen Stefani, no doubt, when she's like, come and light the fire. That song, what is that called? And how does it go? And she says, come on, baby bring the light to we need to light the fire so this person is really wanting to have like this happy ending with you okay um oop. so this person wants they're really focused on creating a happy ending um creating a really good experience with you that's what they want um, I feel like if this person is, has been acting like too cool, you know, we see it with this. We see it with this card right here. You see, that was a leather jacket pin. And here he is lit wearing. Like, I feel like this person was trying to like play it cool, you know, and they realized like, oh, this person's playing chess. Like they're serious about this and I need to hurry up and like, you know, do something. I feel like this person, if they've been playing it too cool, they're going to take off the jacket really soon and like reveal themselves to you this is the books are magic i feel like this person wants to like make a storybook with you you know they want to again i see it with this this is life is better with coffee cats and books so i feel like this person wants to create like an easy going type of energy calm easy going kind of energy and create this whole story with you they're wanting to do like have their storybook like life ending storybook ending with you we have the wizards in training i feel like this person has grown a lot over the time so i feel like th there's history here between you and this person and i feel like you will know who this person is because of how they're acting it's different it's like they're coming to their senses or they're finally like taking it seriously and it shows in their actions okay they're shows in their actions because they're really showing like some type of like commitment here 
okay so number two that is your reading let me know do you know who this person is um are you wanting the same as them let me know down below and i will see you in the next reading peace okay reading number three let's find out who has feelings for you and their next actions you guys are the ones that have picked this mother of air this is the queen of swords okay okay so this person is like this person is angry i want to say that this person feels for you they have feelings for you but they're also pretty angry and i feel like they have some words and they're going to be cutting somebody off in their life that's one thing that is standing out really like there's emphasis on that okay so let's tap into who this person is who is this person that has feelings for you who has feelings who has feelings for number three let's see here nine of pentacles so um this person is focused on money they are focused on making money they're very distracted by that they're kind of distracted by what they're doing in their career um in a good way it's not bad i feel like there's like they're just really in like indulging not indulging but like they're engulfed they're engulfed in what they do for work um and they enjoy it okay person could have a have money they're building wealth right now this person is pretty um attractive as well this person that has feelings for you is very very emotional they know how to express their emotions um i feel like this person might have expressed their emotions to you they might have expressed their emotions to you pretty quickly okay so this is someone that kind of like has already said something to you or they're going to express it pretty quickly once this all starts um i feel like they're pretty kind of like they're an emotional creature i want to say with that ace of cups they believe in love you know they love love and they believe in love they're a hopeless romantic is what i'm really getting okay this person has gone through something with the strength card they have gone through something pretty tough in their life they could be going through something tough right now in their life um they're overcoming um i want to say obstacles they're overcoming trauma they're overcoming i want to say addiction so this person could be um overcoming just like some things some hard tough things in their life okay who is this person we have the two of wands i feel like this person has expressed what they want for the future they are very future focused they don't think about the past maybe there's some things that they're trying to heal from but i don't see it like um oh god i'm so thirsty i don't feel like it keeps them from like growing it doesn't keep them from like focusing on the future i also feel like this person has talked to you or will be talking about coming to see you and visiting you, okay? They want to come to you. They want to travel to you, okay? They have, talk in a, they have talked about future plans concerning your relationship, your connection, or just like, they're just, they're also their personal future plans. We have the three of pentacles. So... I feel like this person, I feel like this person might have involved you in a third party situation or, um, is that Michael Jackson? I feel like that's Michael Jackson. Uh, okay. So there's a message with the Michael Jackson, but I feel like there's a person, <laughs> this person has like a third party kind of energy going on, or there's a third party energy within this connection. 
between you and this person so you're in a relationship and you like this person or you're in a relationship and this person has feelings for you I also feel like this third party is a mystery just because there's not a third person here but there's a coin up there I feel like you don't know who this per who this third party is or this person doesn't know who this third party is but there's an energy of like is there somebody else you might think like is there is this person in a relationship but they they act and say that they're not um that could be also on your part as well but with the michael jackson what are you trying to tell me spirit about mj i feel like this person might have like um star qualities like they might be very super talented in a way and they might even be in the spotlight okay or you might be okay that really gives look look at what i'm saying so I feel like definitely this person could be like a star of some sort. They could be in the spotlight. They could be shining. There is uh, this person is hella creative. This person is interesting. Okay, that's David Bowie. So you got like Michael Jackson. You got David Bowie here. So it's like this is like star quality and unique. This person is unique. So I feel like also this person knows how to pour into themselves and they also pour into the earth. They pour into other people. The thing is, is that they they pour more into themselves and they pour into others and people might confuse that into, you might confuse that as like, oh, this person doesn't really want to give me time, but this person really prioritizes their dreams, their goals, their, their self, their life, their family. You know, um, I feel like this person has also vocalized to you like that you are a dream or they will like you're a dream of theirs. You know, you are like a destination that they want to get to and accomplish and complete and experience, you know, because they see it as something that is like like a dream of some sort. All right. So let's go and tap Mom, into Dad, all right, so let's tap in and see what, let's see what um, their next actions are going to be towards you. <clears throat> we have the three of cups. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. We have the two of cups. What's going on? All right. They definitely want to um, make a connection here with you. Here is the, uh, this is the Queen of Wands. Definitely want to make a connection, but I'm getting some energy here off of the pictures. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. And we have the Ace, I mean, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords here. All right, so let's look at these actions. Let's look at these actions. What are these actions towards? Yeah. Okay, so they're definitely going to, with this, with this Three of Cups, we have the Two of Cups. This is the thing here, and we have the Queen. I feel like you're very alluring. This person is super attracted, attracted to you and interested and curious about you. I just feel like when he's meeting her in the movie, like this is a spirited way when they're, when these two characters are meeting, he's just like kind of like intrigued and drawn and kind of curious about her. And, um, I think this person's next action is to like come towards you. The thing is, what makes me feel weird about this is just like, there's a, again, there's a third party kind of energy here. So I don't know if this person is in a connection or you are in a connection but this person, there's like no room for this person or you in their life. It's just not enough room in here is crowded. There's just too many people going on. But I feel like their next actions are really fueled by like a new beginning. This is the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning here. Um, what are you trying to tell me about this? Because this is this this is the stink spirit that comes into the bathhouse in this movie, Spirited Away, and um, they have to. These two people got to clean this this fool. Okay, they got to clean them up. And after cleaning them, 
cleaning him up, he has like this, you know, he turns into this other creature, you know, he's all clean. And then he gives them a bunch of money. So there's like a lot of abundance that comes with this hard work here. So I, but it smells, okay. There's something that stinks. So I feel like this is the thing. I feel like this person is going to try to connect with you, but there's like something that you know, and there's like, there's, there's a lot of abundance and like, there could be this new be beginning that comes between you guys. But I also just feel like there's something that you can't ignore. It stinks. This, this person needs to clean up themselves or like something needs to be, get cleaned up. There's a lot that needs to get cleaned up and there's a lot that needs to be like, I don't know, cleaned in order for something to happen. Somebody needs to leave the connection. Um... This person needs to stop working so much or there's something, there's some other third party. Because third party doesn't necessarily mean that it's an actual person. It could be like a drug addiction. Like I did, didn't I mention drugs? It could be drugs. It could be, you know, the third party of like, you know, they're really focused on like a trauma event that happened in their life because I did mention that. Or, you know, I mentioned work. This person works a lot. They're building a lot of wealth and it's not negative it's not like they're a workaholic they just enjoy what they really do they're really focused on their dream that could be a third party as well and so but I, I i do feel like you know it could be also another person in their life that you know and that's what you just get in the hint of it you're just like this person is in a relationship this is why you know um this person is being like this or um there's something there's an intuition thing and then we have the ace uh, not the ace. Why I keep saying ace? This is the queen of swords. So, and in this scene, she's like asking, I think she's asking for a job or she's like asking for help in like getting a job at the bathhouse or at this place. And he's just like, you know, doing his own thing here. And so I feel like this person, there's a big job that, is in this situation you know there's a big job of cleaning up something there's a big job so like I don't know maybe like this person you feel like needs to clean up their act or clean up their mess um, or clean up something out of their life because again this guy was like really concentrated in his work in this scene in the movie he's like this spider looking dude and um, he was just like really doing his job like and not even really paying attention to her so I feel like maybe again this person is like you know they got to clean up some stuff they're they're they seem like a really interesting and cool person but um you might feel neglected or something um or maybe that's forced you to um look in different directions and go in a different direction than their direction because i did mention didn't i say that this person was going to be mad i don't know because i feel like this person is mad or you're mad maybe you're mad at this person but there's somebody mad or somebody will get mad when they realize what the smell is what what is under all of that mess you know um so you gotta, okay, let's get into it. Maybe I, let me do charms. I almost forgot to do charms. Let's see if we can get more information on like what's going to happen. This is a weird, I'm getting weird vibes. Like there's something hidden. I, I want to say there's something hidden. Okay, so what's going to happen? What's their actions? What's their action? What's their action? Let's get some. Get a few. Look, what did I say? Okay, what did I say? This is, um, okay. So I feel like, oh, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Let me just look at these charms because it's all coming to me now. The message, the message, someone's going to reach out. I feel like this person is going to reach out and try to like meet up with you. They're going to try to talk to you with this um, paper airplane. They're going to hit you in the DMs big potential with the dms there okay i feel like this person okay hold up okay so i feel like this person hits you up and you're just like what 
hi, you know, I feel like this person kind of gets lost in their life, whether they're with another person or they're with work, they kind of get wrapped up in their own life. And I feel like you come back with it. They come back and you just have a different attitude. Like you're just, you're not this sweet little cupcake that you were before, you know? Um, that's what I'm really getting. I feel like uh, there might have been some, I feel like this person might have a lot to say and you cut them off really quick with telling them something or revealing something or this person has something to say to you i feel like they go from like what i wanted to say is like they go from like being really happy to like taking off in another direction um i feel like this person is always hungry for you you know and always trying to get back in the cycle with you this is always hungry on it and it's a donut that's in the infinity symbol. So I feel like this person is always trying to get back into like, you know, infinity is like leaving one cycle, going into another cycle. This is cycling. Okay. This person tries to cycle with you. Okay. And it's just like, I feel like you're not having it. You're not wanting to go back into the cycle with this person maybe. Or there's just like weird energy, you know, there's something weird about this connection with this person that has like deep feelings for you. We have the flamingo here. So I feel like there's something that's put on display that causes like a conversation. Someone's trying to step back in and start like a new kind of energy um, with you, um, like, or start something new or ask you out on a date because of something being on display. Okay, so that's what's that's who has feelings for you and their next actions number three let me know down below what is this energy that like is going on between you and this person um do you know who this person is let me know down below and i'll see you in the next reading peace